It's getting harder and harder for Democrats to ignore Hunter's buffet of corruption and for Republicans to resist impeaching Joe Biden over it. The White House making a major change to its story on what President Biden knew about Hunter's foreign business deals. It used to be that Gramps was always in the dark about everything. I did not know he was on the board of that company. I've never discussed my business or their business, my sons or daughters. I never discussed a single thing with my son about anything having to do with Ukraine. I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. Liar. But then we found out that an ex-biz partner of the first son said that Hunter threw his dad on speakerphone at least 24 times during the shady business talks. And just like that, the White House shifted the goalposts. I'm curious if the White House and the president still stand behind his comment that he's never been involved and has never even uh, spoken to his son about his business. So I've been, I've been asked this question a million times. The answer is not going to change. The answer remains the same. The president ha was never in business with his son. I just don't have anything else to add. Hmm. With the evidence piling up, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is toying with the big I word. This president has also used something we have not seen since Richard Nixon, used the weaponization of government to benefit his family and deny Congress the ability to have the oversight. I believe we will follow this all the way to the end, and this is going to rise to an impeachment inquiry the way the Constitution tells us to do this, and we have to get the answers to these questions. And here's a delicious side dish to the buffet of corruption. <laughs> Remember Hunter's blow straw art? Well, he's reportedly raking in the cash on that to the tune of at least $1.3 million. One of the buyers was a Democratic donor friend whom dad named to a prestigious commission. That's just a coincidence. Of course, Judge, that happens all the time. So I'm not a big fan of the impeachment thing, but, you know, I'm... Why not at this point? <laughs> you know, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, we've got to put some kind of moral, moral imprimatur that this is wrong. The truth is an impeachment is not going to end up convicting them of anything. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that this deserves a real criminal prosecution. You know, for the longest time, everyone kept saying, well, what business are they in? What business are they in? The business is the business of Joe Biden. And from the beginning, everyone was concerned about Hunter Biden and Burisma. I've got some uh, articles here. Uh, they, they expressed concern to Obama in 2015. Deputy uh, Secretary of State expressed concerns to the Obama White House. They were everybody in Washington knew. Mm -hmm. And yet, and, and Joe's family knew. Hunter, the brother, the other brother, everybody who got a bank account and a deposit knew. Everybody in the world knew, but Joe Biden didn't know. But here's the thing. When you've got a, a situation where there is an investigation... OK, and it's a shame it's got to be conducted by Congress and not the Department of Justice, because we know, based upon what we saw with Hunter, the Department of Justice is not fair. It is not objective. Then what they've got to do is they've got to go down this road. And what's the point, Greg, of going down the road without impeaching the guy? And let me just say a couple other things. I've investigated these kinds of crimes. My office has prosecuted them. This is an organized criminal enterprise where they engage in a common schemer plan. The common schemer plan repeats its Itself, where Hunter goes in, gets a job because they need the father. Joe can say, I had no idea what was going on, except for the fact that he flew them, uh, flew his son on Air Force Two, except for the fact that he showed up at meetings, except for the fact that he was on the phone 24 times, except for the fact that there's this oligarch who has $10 million, who has Joe Biden on his, on his cell phone. Hopefully he won't end up dead somewhere. Now, Hunter <laughs> Biden is a thug. I don't know why he's even in the White House. I don't understand uh, why we're even talking about this guy. And I want to say, finally, Joe Biden is moving the goal, club, goal posts from I know nothing about my son to I, he's never been in business. You know, it is it's a disingenuous and the country knows it. And uh, one last thing <laughs> on the on the art. Mm -hmm. OK, this is the quote. The president has established the highest ethical standard of any administration in American history, and his family is committed to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Dana, this has all the ingredients you love in a story, sex, mm -hmm. drugs, corruption, <laughs> art. 
Isn't it weird how the media has no interest in this? I mean, this is like the perfect, this is like the best summer story because it's real. There was Jessica. a crack in the dam yesterday. A mm, small how dare you? little crack in the dam. And it was uh, Peter Baker at the New York Times tweeting about the communications change, the language change at the White mm. House briefing. Whether it was inadvertent or not, maybe Corinne Jean Pierre thought she was saying the exact same thing, but I doubt it because there is a distinction between <clears throat> Joe Biden never discussed business with Hunter to Joe was never in business with his son. Reporters who are paying attention, and apparently some of them are, recognize that's different. Mm -hmm. And so now you have, once you have a little crack in the dam like that, reporters can start chiseling away if they want. I also wonder, where is the Senate on this, the Senate Democrats, you know, the busload who are demanding Clarence Thomas resign mm -hmm. because he has a rich friend? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> right? Where, where is Sheldon Whitehouse on yeah. this? That White House? Like, Sheldon Whitehouse is leading the charge against Clarence Thomas because he thinks things are corrupt. Well, you, you've you seen Hunter's art. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Is it worth $1.3 million? Ugh, if so, Well, to a major Democratic donor who wants to be appointed to a board, it might be worth $1.3 million, and no one else would have gotten away with that. Well, Jesse, as you know, I'm your rich friend. Uh, <laughs> but you'll get nothing from me. Does it bother yeah. you that uh, painters, like the great painters of the world, <laughs> like Van Gogh or Renoir or Bob Ross, they died broke? The only person <laughs> I know who you just named was Bob Ross. <laughs> and I'm not, even, I'm not even true. Any of that, anything I said Van Gogh for sure. I think it's Renoir. Yeah. I think was it? It's a hard what, Renoir? Yeah. Okay, okay. What about Van Gogh? <laughs> yes, is that the guy that lost the ear? Yes. yes. Nailed it. Yes. Don't ask me any more art <laughs> questions, please. Well, now you just know there's a way for the donor. You don't have to donate to the campaign. You can just pay the family directly. Right. Mm -hmm. What a workaround. I had to write this down mm. because mm. this is so important. I didn't want to miss a line. To just put like it Hunter. simply. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to put it simply, this is the business they were in. This is a dirty foreign lobbying shop. Joe was the chief, and they were selling access, influence, and policy. I love the Democrats now saying they have not tied this to Joe Biden. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so Joe Biden's on the phone with Hunter's business partners. He's in meetings and dinners with Hunter's business partners. Hunter's business partners are visiting Joe Biden at the White House. Hunter's business partners all coincidentally call him the big guy. Hunter's business partners and Hunter are flying on Air Force Two with Joe Biden. Biden's policy portfolio jives exactly with Hunter Biden's portfolio. Hunter is shaking down business partners with Joe Biden in the room. Informants are saying Joe Biden was bribed. And Hunter's business partners saying they're holding 10 for the big guy. So a few questions. If Joe Biden is so clean, Jessica, why did the CIA lie to the voters before the last election about the laptop? Why did the FBI censor the laptop? Why were RS, IRS investigators prevented from pursuing leads against Joe Biden? Why did the Biden family constantly get tipped off? Why were search warrants blocked? Why do you set up Two dozen shell companies if you have a legitimate business. Actually, what is the Biden family business? No one can answer that question. I do. So, Joe Biden. If 10 Biden family members take $17 million from overseas, what was the money for? No one can answer that question. Why is every Chinese business partner in with the Bidens missing or in prison? Why are all Hunter's American business partners either in prison or awaiting sentencing, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> why is the Romanian business partner facing charges? Why is the Mexican business partner facing charges? Why is the Ukrainian business partner on the lamb also <laughs> facing charges, All Jessica? Right. Can you answer any of those oh, questions? Wait, I think, Je Jesse, I think you have a new segment on your show called Why? 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 Yes. And you I'm just... not done. No, I'm no. playing the judge you need. And one more thing. <laughs> Comer only has two bank records. There's nine more. Are you willing to go down with this ship? Devin Archer's about to testify. What happens when the bride takes leap a month before the next election? Mm. Are they going to cover those up too? What happens when they find the 10 they're holding for the big guy in Jimmy Biden's shell company in Delaware? Mm. What happens? You're just connecting the dots.
I know someone has to. Yeah, you know, Jessica, in the, I, I, I loved what you said in the green room. We were, we were sitting there uh, <laughs> discussing our favorite books. A, and you said uh, with that $1.3 million, it would be great if, if Hunter announced all that money would go to his baby daughter. And I thought that was so nice of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I said about it. Um, the Business Insider piece about the art deal, the big scoop, admits that it doesn't know if Hirsch Naftali, that's her name, last name, who bought the piece, did it before or after she got the appointment. But it was a Democratic donor. It's definitely a favor to the family. But she got an appointment that usually goes to Democratic or to donors in general. It sounds like pretty standard nepotism to mm -hmm. me. Obviously, Jesse threw a lot out there. And I say, if it is all true, lock him up. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, that's the only appropriate thing to do if he is a mob boss. If these are the Corleones and not the Bidens, then that's where you have to go with this. But it still hasn't been proven. And <laughs> but nobody will investigate it. That's not it true. You, have, you literally justice had will not investigate this. Are you kidding? You've I'm got not kidding. emails, bank you have, records, everything. You know, you have tapes that we can't hear. You have informants that are Chinese spies. No, you a, have Navy, a retired Ch Navy lieutenant, Bob Alinsky. Oh, okay. right, the guy right, who does the cable news interviews, right. Oh, gee, uh, on our station. Yeah, no one does interviews on CNBC <laughs> or MSNBC. No, I'm... I'm just That's saying, right. and Chuck Grassley's been clear about this, and Ron Johnson has been clear about this, when pushed by responsible anchors, that they do not have it yet. They are working on it. That's what Kevin McCarthy's doing. He's doing the we're working on it tour. But what he's not telling the viewers at home is that there are 18 Republicans that were elected in Democratic districts who are not going to go for an impeachment, so you're not going to get it. All right. You know what? And also... To, just quickly on Dana's point about P what Peter Baker pointed out, mm -hmm. and Democrats will remind you of this. The New York Times was responsible for getting Hillary's email server scandal out there and Uranium One. So it's not like we think that they no, are but that. that was coming out with uh, Uma Abedin's husband. They had the laptop. Um, they didn't do any favor okay. here. That's wh what I'm saying is that the New York Times doesn't help Democrats all the time. They ended up breaking. All right. The story. They're yelling at me. They are yelling at me. Who are they? I don't know. They're weird. I've never met them. I, never, I don't know who the heck they are. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.